Hello Linux fans, Rob here. Just wanted to uh, do a quick overview of Ubuntu Mate. Uh, this is my fallback distro. If, um, if I have issues with uh, a distro that, that I'm trying, and currently I'm, I'm really favoring and trying uh, KDE, uh, KDE Neon, and and so far so good. Um, I'm really liking what I'm seeing there. It's been stable, knock on wood. Hope it continues to be so. But if I were to have issues there, or some type of major failures or or uh, problems that I just can't overcome, then Ubuntu Mate will be my fallback distro of choice. There's several reasons that I want to go over uh, why that is, and I also want to point out same features are reasons why if you have someone who is new to Linux or maybe they want to try Linux for the first time I highly recommend this distro this this version of Linux Ubuntu Mate for that person that maybe you just want to introduce them uh, get them familiar with Linux what it's all about because of because of the um, the features the ease of use uh, and simplicity of the uh, distro. Now the screen you're seeing now is not the default look and we're going to jump right in here to one of the things that really sets this distro apart. So we're going to go into System, Preferences, Look and Feel, and we're going to go to Mate Tweak. And here you see Desktop, so if we wanted to go into Desktop Mode where you can show folders and files on your desktop we could simply choose that option but the star of the show here as far as tweaking is concerned is interface under Mate tweak so the default that you will see is Ubuntu Mate so you'll notice when I made that change that you have a taskbar at the top and one at the bottom and I've noticed that really Fedora GNOME 2 and uh, OpenSUSE are pretty much the same, two taskbars. There's not a lot of change there. But uh, what is nice is they have Mutiny, which is their version of um, Unity. So your taskbar moves over to the side and you have one at the top. My favorite is uh, Cupertino. So that puts a taskbar at the bottom, quick access. Um, well, here's a, here's a little error message. We're going to say don't delete. And then some other settings you're going to want to make sure you check out are enable indicators. And I'll show you what happens. So that is off. Indicator is off. If you go over here to volume, so that's what you get. You enable indicator and you get this which is much nicer. Option for sound settings, etc. So make sure you uh, check that and then you can enable or disable launcher uh, for uh, Synapse. So we're gonna we're gonna jump out of this but certainly once you've installed uh, Mate, Ubuntu Mate, um, well looks like we're having internal errors and I'll speak to that right now. Um, that's one of the issues that I moved away from Ubuntu Mate it's it's stable for the most part I love many things about it um, it's smooth it's fast the startup time on this is it's it's incredible from the moment you hit the power button you turn around uh, to grab your cup of coffee and bam the systems up and running so you know perhaps it's it's the systems that I have they're Dell systems Intel based straightforward um, but I just I would start to after I don't know, a week or two of use, I would run into issues. And um, so that caused me to move on to something else. All right, we'll carry on. We'll, we'll see how this goes. The other thing I want to point out is how easy it is to tweak the taskbar. You right click on the taskbar, go to properties. And I'll point out that uh, this system is a hybrid laptop um, tablet. Let's bump that up to 40 with a really high resolution so uh, things may look extremely small in this video we'll see 
but it's real simple right click go to properties and then you can change the size of the taskbar uh, you can show hide buttons auto hide you can change the background so you could take that to a solid color and change the transparency alright so we're gonna make that transparent we'll keep it there the other thing I want to point out that makes this really straightforward and easy for most new users to understand is you have applications with a simple menu list you have places right to your folder system and you have system uh, when you initially set this up you'll spend a lot of time in system under administration you have your software which we'll talk about software boutique which is another a big highlight of this distro and then I've installed synaptic package manager but you'll also see software updates there and software updater so you'll spend some time there and then you have preferences so that'll take you right into hardware for additional drivers display settings etc network and then look and feel you, you have appearance and you have Mate tweak uh, appearance will allow you to get in and do some deeper tweaking um, you can change those fonts background we'll, uh, we'll choose something real quick here just to give it a different look let's see what we have here let's, there we go so quickly change your background and then there are several themes here to choose from so you you have ambient mate uh, black mate so if you like the darker themes and uh, it's very simple to uh, to add themes so with that all said we'll uh, kinda jump back over here and we'll go to applications so one thing they've done here is they've they've added a pretty good selection of of applications it's not too much uh, for office you have LibreOffice uh, for internet you have Firefox by default for uh, video you have VN, uh, VLC pre-installed uh, under accessories you're gonna have uh, there's uh, convert all which we install but you'll have a uh, screenshot uh, a screenshot app which is very nice uh, you'll have calculator the usuals um, let's jump into the file manager here straightforward file manager um, I prefer the KDE file manager I think that's the best file manager on any OS um, but this has what you need it's it's uh, it's clean interface, simple to use. We've got the icons enlarged here. There's 100%. I'm, I don't know. I'm sure there's more settings, and I've I've gone in and I've I've chosen uh, under preferences, edit preferences to use a compact layout. Uh, but for whatever reason, you can enlarge these icons, but the spacing is just it's too vast. So, uh, but you do have what you need as far as split view. So we can add an extra pane there for simple uh, drag to copy and drag um, so again nothing wrong with this file manager it gets the job done um, but you know it's nothing special either I'll put it that way um, star of the show as far as uh, this distro is software software boutique so I think other distros should pay attention to this and and really just focus in on how they've done this and and why this is um, why this is so good for a beginner. So once you have launched Software Boutique, you see a series of icons here: accessories, education, games, graphics, um, which is all nice. And most people are going to know to go to that icon, this icon they'll find their way around there but if you look at the selection that they have chosen for this software manager um, it's just nicely done so G note um, not too much under accessories there not too much under education games so good selection of games here to begin with Minecraft that's a biggie uh, play on Linux and Steam all right there ready to go I haven't installed Steam to see how it runs if you go over to graphics you've got Blender GIMP Inkscape 
excellent app here, Scribus, Scribus, or Scribus, uh, Tomato, Tomato. Under Internet, Flash is pre-installed. You have BitTorrent, Dropbox, Chromium. Scroll on down here, and there's Google Chrome. And here's a biggie, in sync. So if you're uh, using Google Apps and uh, you uh, or use Google Drive, there's no native uh, Drive Sync client or software from Google. So InSync does the trick. Excellent software. I highly recommend it. It's one-click install. Now I want to move over. I'm going to skip over some of the others. I want to point out a few things. This is smart. Uh, so right here in the software boutique you have outdated package list so you can update your sources and upgrade installed packages. If you have broken packages you can go in and configure interrupt packages, interrupted packages or resolve broken packages. Smart. And they've added more software. So as you can see I've already installed Synaptic Package Manager. I had tried App Grid the very first time I installed Ubuntu Mate and the first time I tried it it installed fine and ran fine gave a good selection um, but then I I don't know a week or so later had to reinstall tried it again and um, it it just halfway worked so you know if you wanted to default to the Ubuntu Software Center you certainly could Synaptic Package Manager um, pretty well has everything that you would you would want so it's extremely nice that they've set this up this way a beginner is going to be able to jump in here and easily understand how it works and um, have quick access to the software they need sound and video good selection audacity handbrake Cody right there um, Spotify so these are some of the highlights. Um, I, I'll, I'll kind of skip over the uh, plank bar here. Uh, this is just nice quick access. There's plenty of options there. Just for the sake of time, I would just say I highly recommend this distro for a beginner. If you have a friend who's interested in trying Linux, I would, I would jump right to Ubuntu Mate. And uh, I think with a little bit of hand-holding, they would be up and running on Linux and really enjoying this uh, this distro uh, because of the speed. You could put this on an older system and I think it would run uh, just fine. I think it uh, if you took someone who had you know an old Windows 7 machine, especially an old Vista machine, and you put this distro or you loaded up this distro onto that machine, it would just breathe new life into their system and I think they would appreciate you for doing it. So give it a try and uh, I highly recommend it although again I've had some issues, some glitches. Uh, I'm sure those things will be worked out over time but highly recommend it. Hope this helps and we'll catch you next time.